It was vital the Hitachi Class 395 launch was a success from the word go. Well, I've worked in the UK rail industry for about 25 years, and this is the smoothest new train introduction I've ever come across. Things went extremely well. Where we did have problems and difficulties, we found Hitachi extremely responsive. They were very quick to help us deal with problems, and it was an incredible team effort. We focused from the outset on the teamwork, because that's what HS1 is all about, working in partnership with the other organisations that use the railway with our customers. Hitachi is a massive brand around the world, huge success in other markets, so we knew they were competent of transferring that success into the European market. We knew they'd handpicked a team to do it, and they worked with us from the outset hand in hand to get the technical details of the train right. So once we initially went to Japan and um, there was about 12 of us trained on the train. The purpose of the visit was obviously to work with uh, the engineers and the quality assurance team for when we come over to the UK to do testing and to learn the unit as well. The preview was very, very important to us. It gave us the opportunity to test out the things that we needed to test for the full service. It gave us a real opportunity to show customers just how great this high-speed service was going to be. Because we had a real close-knit um, relationship with the guys from Itachi, it enabled us to ask any question, anything we weren't sure about, if they found an answer for it. The ease of which um, the train operates um, is really good. The cab environment is uh, superb. All of the drivers I speak to, they like the job, they love the environment that they work in, uh, and especially the train. Yeah, we were very confident. We'd proven that the trains were reliable, uh, the passengers really liked them. We also had proven the operational concept of the new service, and we were excited actually, not uh, uh, nervous at all about introducing the service, we were very, very confident. They were reliable from day one and the uptake was phenomenal. I mean, I, I stood here on that first day and watched a, a nearly full train and it just got better. They added six cars to 12 cars and the thing grew. But all the time behind the scenes, that teamwork was still going on to make sure that when we had the first full service, people got as good a service as they'd had any day. Well, the passenger reaction has been absolutely fantastic. Passengers love these new trains. In fact, uh, in the latest national passenger survey, which is independently run, this service has been rated by its commuters as the best commuter rail service in the country. So people enjoy the speed of the journey, they enjoy the fact that it actually arrives and leaves on time each day. Quite different to the national network, and I just think you can go anywhere, talk to those people, you get that stuff, and, and yes, we get that feedback all the time. Some of them find it life-changing in terms of the experience of the service. Reliability has rem remained very, very good. Um, we've also seen passenger numbers continue to grow right throughout the last six months. I think I've heard Charles Horton say that British manufacturers and other European manufacturers have got a lot to learn from Hitachi about the aftercare they provide and the way they support the train in its first two years of operation. We're very proud of what Hitachi ourselves and South Eastern have achieved here.